praise the Lord. Let us check ourselves. While we are saying this thing is, if the trumpet sounds today, where are we going to be? Not even the trumpet. The trumpet, most of us might not even be here when the trumpet is going to sound. Most of us might even die before the trumpet sounds. What if I fall down now and die? Where next am I going? That is the big question we should be asking ourselves. Let us leave the whole things of this world. All these things we are fighting for, all these things we are looking for are all ephemeral. They are all vanity that will still go. They are all sand. Praise the King of Glory. Praise Master Jesus. If I fall down and die today, where will I be? And the funniest thing, the funniest thing, the funniest thing that we take for granted that we're not taking seriously. How many years are we going to live on this earth? The highest I'm going to live on this earth, like I always tell myself, once I get to hate by his grace, I know I'm always getting to the bus stop, final bus stop, because that is it. Highest you're going to live on this earth is 100 years. And in that 100 years, you didn't walk your salvation the eternity you're going to. Eternity, what does eternity mean? Can somebody answer me here to see if we are following? On what does eternity mean? On ending. No. Thank you, sir. Eternity means it's not, it has no ending. It has no ending. My brother, my sister, how can we choose? How can we choose to delight ourselves in this life? That is for the short time. To eternity, there has no end. Choose you, the one you want to be. Eternity that has no end. Where? During judgment, is it that you are here or you're there? Here that I mean is hellfire or heaven. Then, if you didn't find yourself in the right stand with God when God calls you, and you see yourself in hellfire, that means eternity, till eternity. You're in hellfire till eternity. May not have mercy on us. May not have mercy on me. I just pray that God should also help even me that is saying this preaching here. That at the end of the day, I don't miss out. I don't miss out of eternity. It is real, it is real, it is real. Heaven is real. Hellfire is real, my brothers and my sisters. 80 years is for the short time, it's like 8 days before birth. 100 years we live is like, I when I, sometimes when I look at myself, I look at, I still remember when I was very young. Oh, sometimes I say, Mama Mia, old age. You mean, at this over 50 God? Man, you don't hold old. This is it. And I keep asking myself, myself that question. How many years again do I have to live on this earth, God? I don't know. It is, we have to ask ourselves this question. Even if God blesses you with long, longevity, the highest is going to bless you with his hundred years. So after that, where are we going to? After that, where are we going to? Let us not have this habit of saying, let me enjoy now. After after, I will repent. <laughs> Start it now. To find yourself in the hands of God, in the palm of Jesus Christ. Be in His hands. That is the best place to be. The best place to be. Because that is the only way you can be qualified for that eternity. For the eternity. For the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the King of glory. Someone is saying in his hand is where you find protection. We have talked about eternity. Eternity, that's the number one thing that is very, very important. It is very, very important. Every other thing he's given unto us here is just Jara. The one says, seek you first the kingdom of God, and every other thing, every other thing is Jara. What you and I would think we are enjoying now is Jara. The cars we are driven to buy every day by day. I don't know which is the, 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 the latest cars and all what's not. 
that most of us are scrambling and dying to buy, compromising to buy. Many are compromising to do things on earth. Oh, Najara, ephemeral. Not that these things are not good. Don't get me wrong. Not that life is not good. Yes, why we are living here on earth? We are begging God to make us to be comfortable. It is our desire to be comfortable. Don't get me wrong. It is our desire to be comfortable. But you can be a very comfortable Christian and a, a, a Christian that will be in the palms of God. It is obtainable. It is very, very, very obtainable. They say, our God, he owns the heavens and the earth. All the riches of the earth. All the gold and the silver we are talking about, he owns them all. And we are his children. These are our inheritance. Not that it is not good for us to have all those things. But believe you me, the way most of us are going about it, we will miss out from heaven. Praise the King of Glory. Because many of us, we, we, we strive to get these things by fire, by force, compromising, thereby compromising. But that is not how it will be. We can serve God and we can be rich. It is a very sweet one. We have, true, we have true children of God. We have real children of God who are serving God and they are bastardly rich. Rich in the Lord. Praise the King of Glory. That will be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It says, when your soul is in the hands of God, when your soul is in the hand of God, no man can take your life. Praise the King of Glory. This is one of the things you enjoy when your life is in the palms of Jesus Christ. No man can take your soul because they never give you your soul. They might try, but they can never, ever take your soul. Praise the King of Glory. They might afflict you with sickness. We all know it. They might afflict you with, sin, with infirmities, all different kinds of infirmities from the pits of hell. Evil arrows might be sent towards you. But the Lord has told us here, he said, they can never ever take your soul if you put your life in the hands of Jesus Christ. You can see this, let's say, you see it in the book of Job, chapter 12, verse 10. You look at it later. Job 12, verse 10. Praise the Lord. He said, his hands disciplined us. When you're in the palms of Jesus Christ, when you're in the palms of God, He can discipline you. He can chastise you. And we know that the chastising of God is better than the chastising of man. Praise the King of Glory. I prefer that God chastises me. They said, who He chastises, who He loves, He chastises. If God does not love you, He will not chastise you. He will just close His eyes and ignore you. I pray that the Lord will not turn His back on me in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray he should never turn his back on any one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. When you are in the palm of God, Lord, when we are in your palm, chastise us when we are going wrong. Praise the King of Glory. That is what I mean, the check. When you are in the hands of God, he will always check on you. It's like, just like the, the, the shepherd who has all his sheep. When one is going astray, with all the whole thousands of sheep that he has around him, he will always go and draw that one sheep back. So when you are in the palm of God, no matter once you are going astray, God will draw you back. Like I said before, know that sometimes you will not go astray. We are all human beings. Sometimes, sometimes temptations might come. But please and please, don't dwell on that temptation. Don't dwell on that sin. Praise the King of Glory. For the fact that we are flesh, for the fact that you and I are flesh, sometimes we make mistakes. Praise the Lord. But for the fact that you are in the palm of God, please don't dwell on that sin. Don't dwell on that mistake for so long. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This was what David did here. This was what David did here. David sinned against God in this book of 2 Samuel verse 24. He sinned against God. And we know who David is before God. We know, we know David, a man after God's heart. We know him. He knew he sinned against God. 